heading into the cinema, I was actually very nervous in, you know, getting ready to watch this film. Context, hindi ako mahilig sa gantong klase na horror movies. When it deals with possession, when it deals with exorcism, playing around with things that you don't want to play around with, I do believe in the existence of angels, demons, um, biblically as a believer of Christ. I know there's a spiritual battle that exists. So there's sometimes yung tension na, okay, I don't want to watch these kinds of movies. Not to, because I don't want to play around with it. I don't want to tempt anything. Insert those things in my mind. Uh, so I was a bit nervous. Exorcist the Believer. <laughs> this is big primarily also because my mom, this is her most, like the film she, is like scared to death with. Like she was so scared when the Linda Blair uh, version came out. When she watched that, she had like nightmares and all these things. She would say that that was like the scariest film she watched. And she invited me to watch this one. So it's kind of weird. But I must say, it wasn't what I expected. I expected it to be an all out horrific display. And what I was able to see was more of a corny, over-the-top, ridiculous story, especially when it comes to the possession part as well. It was different. I mean, it wasn't what I expected. I felt like this film suffered from being very confusing. Even the process of the exorcism here, it was different religions, different beliefs, so it was all a mishmash Almost as if it wasn't strong enough, you know, the directors, like they wanted to include everything or everyone's beliefs and not trample on anyone else by making this belief or religion or faith uh, the superior one by showcasing it or highlighting it. But there was nothing really that made it sing and make it something that was worthwhile. Uh, the makeup and effects were pretty creepy for the most part, but it wasn't like super all-out scary. I, I'm surprised that it was that way. Um, the, the editing as well of the voices, it felt like it didn't match the actual enunciation. It felt like it was really creepy, but there were a lot of moments in this film that it wasn't all that effective. The story zeroes in on like this family, especially the main family would see Aaron Burr. Um, one thing that when I was watching the trailers that would have been like the big scary part here was that there were two girls, two possessions if you will. But it wasn't all that scary in that sense because it felt like it still focused on one aspect. The pacing of everything was quite slow until we get to that um, big exorcism seance ritual thing. Overall, this felt like a film that was just trying too much. It wasn't really zeroed in on its identity. It wasn't zeroed in on what it wanted. It also felt like a film that was trying so much to be a legacy to the first. Like it brought in legacy characters, Linda Blair and all these things, and references to that. It felt like it was just trying hard to ride the waves and ride the hype. So I wasn't really a fan of this coming in because I was scared. Coming out, I was just a bit bored to be honest. Is it worth watching? If you're looking for a pretty okay story, maybe. Uh, but then the horror elements weren't that great. Not that satisfying as a horror movie, not that creepy, not that satisfying as a story overall. I just wanted so much more out of this um, towards the end and towards the middle because it wasn't what I expected. I expected to be terrified at least. So I give this film a score of 4 out of 10. Uh, there's so many things that could have been better and I honestly believe you can actually watch other films in the horror genre that would be a better payoff than so that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys like this one, do like, share, comment, and hit that notification bell. And as always, don't forget to make every day into an adventure. Bye guys.